Ben tas falı. Welcome back to Madden NFL 20. We selected your previous game options. You can change these options and accessibility settings here or at any time later from the game settings. Accessibility settings. Entering settings screen, you have 19 options. Menu narration option is set to office selected. Accessibility settings. Welcome to EA Sports coverage of the 2019 NFL Pro Bowl from right here in Orlando, Florida. Coming up, the AFC looking to make it three in a row as they square off against their rivals from the NFC. I'll be back at halftime, but first let's get you downtown to Camping World Stadium. Standing by our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Straight ahead, bragging rights on the line in the 46th meeting of the AFC and the NFC in the 2019 NFL Pro Bowl game. As always, alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, Rams and Patriots still a week away. We'll touch on that later. But as Coach said, the AFC coming in here on a two-game win streak. And I love the fact that it's back to AFC versus NFC. We had that little time frame with captain's picks and there was no side. I didn't like that. So let's see if the NFC can get into it. Drew Brees will be their starting quarterback. Probably a little perturbed about how his season ended. And Patrick Mahomes from Kansas City. What a second season for that youngster.
Excitement? Well, we got that in abundance as this Pro Bowl is underway from Orlando, Florida. This will be fielded at the six. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. The NFC offense taking the field, being led in blue by the NFL's all-time passing leader. 12th Pro Bowl nomination for the great QB from New Orleans, Drew Brees. And you and I both know that this is not easy for him. It's fun to play football at any time, but you know he'd rather be preparing for the Super Bowl and still trying to get that missed call out of his head that may have prevented his Saints from getting there. Now the leading rusher in the league, Ezekiel Elliott of the Cowboys, his second Pro Bowl. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. A tough run by Ezekiel Elliott, the fourth overall pick in the 2016 draft. If you watch tape of him in college, you saw plenty of those runs because I know the highlights showed him in the open field breaking away from people, but that's how he wore down defenses, those exact type of runs. Pro Bowl is a rookie, Saquon Barkley. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 41. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. We mentioned the history of this game, the Pro Bowl. Of course, for many folks our age, the Pro Bowl always meant a trip to Hawaii. You know, they held it there from 80 till 09, and again for a handful of years in this decade before the last three being here in Orlando. And there's something to be said, no doubt about it, for getting to go to Hawaii. Imagine being named a pro bowler and going home and telling your family, we're headed to Hawaii for a vacation. But think about going to Orlando, especially if you've got kids. All the theme parks, all the great things to do, plus not nearly as long a flight no matter where you come from in the United States. I think it's a big deal and a good thing to have it here in Orlando. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. From the gun, it's Breeze. Looking long for Thomas. And incomplete. He can't hang on. Would have been a nice catch. Instead, it brings up a fourth down. And third down is a key down in any game you play. And third down defense, something we've got to watch in this one. Got to be effective on the passing downs. That's a pretty good first step right there. Fourth down, ready to punt, Michael Dixon. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. The AFC heading out on offense and leading him as number 15 from the Kansas City Chiefs, Patrick Mahomes, in his first ever Pro Bowl. Get your tux, get your best suit. Let's head to the red carpet. NFL Honors is coming up, and he will be the heavy favorite to be the NFL MVP. And let's face it, we'll see him here at the Pro Bowl many times to come in future years. Mahomes in the AFC now with a first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Oh, that was dangerous. Throw it into coverage, almost picked. But instead, they'll keep it on second down. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Now Mahomes. And all oh, this is taken in one-handed. What a catch. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. For Patrick Mahomes, what a season he had. First as a full-time starter, and he goes over 5,000 yards, 50 touchdowns, and rewarded with his first Pro Bowl. And think about if you're in Kansas City, the organization, the team, 
the city. How well are you set up for future years with that youngster as your quarterback? Not only are the guys on the team excited about it, think about free agents, thinking about where they might want to play. If you're a free agent receiver, you're thinking Kansas City. An excellent pickup of 34 yards. Well, he was so good throwing the football on third down during the regular season. Why wouldn't it carry over here to the Pro Bowl? <laughs> Sometimes that's just who you are, right? If you're good at something, during, the, as you said, during the regular season, so what if it's with a bunch of guys you're unfamiliar with? It's third down, he finds a way to convert. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Here's Connor. Malcolm Jenkins of the Eagles in on the tackle. A look at the starters defensively now for the NFC. Playing in his 11th season in the NFL is defensive back Malcolm Jenkins, who entered with the New Orleans Saints as a cornerback before shifting back to safety where he's had his best years. Terrific football IQ, tremendous tackler, can also guard receivers in the slot. On second down, it's Connor. And he'll go down at the 28. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. A couple of nice carries back-to-back -back here, establishing the ground game a bit. Yeah, these are bare-bones runs now. I mean, they're getting substantial yardage, the kind of yards you're looking for, right? Let's go ahead and use a cliche. Stay ahead of the change, right? Five, more, five or more yards each time. That's what you're looking for in setting a tone and getting your offensive line going. Good sign on the opening drive. A second time pro bowler here. This is the Chargers' Melvin Gordon. And he'll take this down just shy of the 25-yard line. He was brought down by the Bears' safety, Eddie Jackson. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Now they'll throw with Mahomes into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Eddie Jackson picks it, and a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. The good old cover three defense, partner. When you start playing football as a safety, that's the first thing you're taught. Middle of the field, be as deep as the deepest receiver in any zone, and break on the football when it's thrown and pick it off, just as we saw there. Breeze in the Ready, NFC come somebody. up now with a first and 10 at their own 14-yard line. So after the INT, it's Breeze. And complete to Zach Ertz. And he'll be taken down, but they've got this one up to the 35-yard line. And a nice gain of 21 yards. For Drew Brees, this his 12th Pro Bowl nomination. Though he hasn't played all 12 years, but still, what a career and what a season. And to do it at this age, unbelievable. Not too bad for a guy who turned 40 the week leading up to the NFC Championship game. He keeps himself in such superb physical condition and still loves everything that goes along with football. He may play till he's 60. The dump off, good for eight there on first down. Now on second down, this is Gurley. Credit the tackle to the Texans middle linebacker, Bernardrick McKinney. In order to play really good run defense when you're playing a 3-4, those three guys up front, the nose tackle and the guys they call the defensive ends, they're usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers because it's usually five on three. And when they do their job well, Still third guys down. who play on the inside, those inside linebackers, they're able to just roam and hit. 95-56, Now Breeze. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. Touchdown! Saquon Barkley 
60 yards. And the NFC is in for six. That's what we want right there, CD. It's a Pro Bowl. Give us some of these long touchdowns. We want plays that cover uh, all the ground. Uh, we want so long much. distance plays. Shot long distance runs, long though. distance passes. It doesn't matter. In the Pro Bowl, big plays are what we're all looking for. Rosas good with the extra point. Just a four play drive oh. that time. And it's finished off by an NFC touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. <laughs> this is fielded at the chalk of the team. Uh, that's that one. Yeah, he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21 yard line. Uh, wait. Mahomes in the AFC now with a first and 10 at their own 21. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And he'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. That one goes for 24 yards. That'll get six cents up. First down, Mahomes. Ooh, yes, this is going to be yes, cool. Cool. He won the fight for the football. <laughs> and he will score. Oh. Touchdown, AFC. Yes, yeah, stop, 55 <laughs> yards. <laughs> and the AFC is an extra point away from tying this game up. Partner, one of the cardinal rules of defense is that if you're in position to make a tackle, you need to make it. Well, and if you can't make the tackle before that, you just got to knock that ball down, right? Yeah, something has to happen because we saw the end result there. Missed tackle, he goes all the way and takes it for a touchdown. Uh. Jason Myers now for the extra point. It's good, and we're all tied at seven apiece. Pretty clean and simple there. Just two plays, the long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Ready, five nine. Throwing on first down is Breeze. Hurts over the middle. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive. First down. Breeze now. He completes it to Julio Jones. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Five yards on the catch there brings up second down. Well, we've talked about this game being hosted here in Orlando, and you and I are quite familiar with this place, especially you. You live, what, 20, 25 minutes from here? Yeah, not bad at all, right? An easy trip to come right to the studios here in Orlando. You, of course, have to give a little bit more effort, a quick flight, then you're here, but you've learned this city quite well. And how about it? The Madden Studio. This is caught inside the 15. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. He got 29 yards that time. NFC, first down. First and 10 at the 13-yard line. Bree's going to come up here, first and 10. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. To throw, it's Breeze. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. But one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown them a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after them. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. Now the NFC going to call the first of their three timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Now they'll try to convert on third and six after the four-yard completion. 
Again, it's Breeze. And that's going to be caught. Touchdown, NFC. From eight yards out. And the NFC has taken the lead. Well, we saw that tandem hook up quite a few times during the regular season, didn't we? We certainly did, and it continues now in the Pro Bowl. You have to know that even if they didn't consciously plan it, you do try and find guys you're familiar with in a game like this. PAT up and good by Rosas. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it's finished off by an NFC touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. This is taken just shy of the 10 here. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. First and ten, here's Mahomes. And now this is intercepted, my goodness. Eddie Jackson picks it. The tight end, Kelsey, was the intended target. That's sort of a second quarter to forget for him. Now two picks in this frame. Almost as if the first one that he threw, he couldn't shake, couldn't get it out of his head. He ends up throwing a second one as a result. Compounds the mistake a little bit. Yeah, you got to be able to forget, compartmentalize, whatever you want to call it, and move on. He it's been able to do so here in the second. Keep from Yuri. That was a fifth. On first and ten, here's Breeze. Open here, make Adam that Thielen. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. Seven yards to pick up on the pitch and catch. But a good What you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works a defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. Oh. And they got it done. The ball. Yeah, the numbers for the NFC on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This time they face a third and two. Now Breeze. And he connects with Ertz. And he's taken down inside the 30. Breeze to Ertz for the NFC first. Uh, so on that play, defense was in the zone. They ran a crossing route offensive. Tu dis que t'entends pas bien mon micro? Dis-moi dans le quoi ça de l'air là.
Charlie, but the defense, sir, you got to be good with communication, don't you? You certainly do, and it's not something that is really evident when you watch it on the screen, but everyone's talking, communicating, pointing, and it keeps you from chasing receivers because you have a specific zone you have to cover. When a receiver's in your zone and he crosses to another one, you got to let your guy know. They got a completion there, but I like the discipline they show to stay in their proper areas and then make the tackle. So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. It'll be from the right hash, and it'll be a 36-yarder. And Rosas puts this one through, and that will do it for this first half. So we've reached halftime of the 2019 Pro Bowl with the NFC on top. Ah, uh, the NFC looking to rewrite a little history as they lead this 2019 Pro Bowl at the break. Now remember... They've lost both of the previous Pro Bowls played here in Orlando. But maybe, just maybe, this is the one to break the streak. A lot still to play for in the second half as we go back to Camping World Stadium and Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Mahomes in the AFC now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Complete crisis averted, almost picked. Instead, second down. When you think about the history of this Pro Bowl game, there was an All Star game going all the way back to 1939, but it officially became called the Pro Bowl in I think 1951. You're exactly right. And that game was played out in LA, in the same stadium where the LA Rams currently play. And back then they split it into conferences: the American Conference versus the National Conference. The American Conference won 28-27. MVP of the game, quarterback Otto Graham. Nickname, Automatic. A very solid gain of 27. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot and they connected there and picked up a first down. The Pro Bowler Tyreek Hill, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. So this is what happens when you throw interceptions. That confident veneer that you have is chipped away a little bit. Maybe a little bit gun shot throwing it around. Yeah, under throwing him there, and you're right. Those interceptions may be in the back of his mind. Mahomes finding his fellow Chief Hill for the AMC first down. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. Travis Kelsey, the all-pro tight end, the intended receiver, and that'll bring up second down. And again, it's Mahomes. Oh, he got position on him, and he pulls it in. 17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. It's a first down. Mahomes now perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. Throwing now is Mahomes. And that is caught for an AFC touchdown. A 16-yard touchdown. And the AFC able to cut it to within a score. Great play, but admittedly, the tackling in the Pro Bowl, Charles, not always the best. I would say that they're not quite as committed to getting a guy on the ground in the Pro Bowl as maybe during the regular season and, of course, in the playoffs. But still, heck of an individual effort there on that run.
Et voilà. Extra point up and through by oh, Myers. Sure. So that drive goes eight plays, and it ends with an AFC touchdown. Uh, pour ceux qui se... <rire> non, je suis l'équipe rouge. <rire> euh, ta ta ta, 2-0 encore Montréal. So just a three-point game now as they send this one away. This one taken just inside the 10. And nice work on the return as he'll start to drive just past the 30-yard line. Breeze and the Ready? NFC come up now with a first and 10 at the 31-yard line. Oh, oui. Taken down, losing yardage back oh. to 27. That's going to go to the so four, and it'll be second down. Charles, this the 2019 Pro Bowl. The AFC's won both games that have been played here in Orlando since they moved it here. Both have been competitive. 20 to 13 two seasons ago in the last year in 2018. It was 24-23 the final. Yeah, and two years ago, Travis Kelsey, Lorenzo Alexander were the game MVPs, offense and defense respectively. And then last no year, Delaney Walker of the Titans, their tight end, he won it on offense. And Vaughn Miller of the Broncos won it on defense. Oh. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play. Yeah, on offense, be aware, ball may come your way. Now Breeze on third down. No, no! Pass the 20. Touchdown! Saquon Barkley. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the NFC adds on to their lead. Rosas now to end the PAT. Passive for Rosas. And his guys will take a 10 point lead. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it's finished off by an NFC touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. This is taking about seven yeah, yards deep. Là, euh, là c'est deux à un. Ça, ça veut dire qu'on compte parce que c'est un match aller-retour. Ça veut dire que c'est deux à deux pour Calgary. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And this is caught. I think he got that with one hand. Ça, ça veut dire que c'est deux à deux pour Calgary au fond. It's second down. Wow, long effort. Ça, ça veut dire que là, Montréal a pas le choix de compter. Probably want a first down. And he'll be the one in the film session. If he said, hey, run that one back, coach. Run that one back. Oh, oui, ça, c'est un beau catch. And they won't. Eight more times. They won't. Didn't get much out of it. They got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets him a new set of downs. And there's Shaq the the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", 6 6'5", 6 and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players. Some have came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You're getting better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Oh, we got some help. Complete 18 yards on each of the last two plays, and they're picking up big chunks now. Defensively, here you've got the cushion, but back to back, pretty big pass plays there. Bend but don't break, but are they bending too much? I think that they are. To me, it'd be like playing basketball and you put up a token press. Make sure you get up there and make them eat up some time, make it a little bit of resistance so they can't just run it right down your throat. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and ten as they've got things rolling on this drive. Five it's yards on the catch there, there brings up second down. Do you think? 
I'm wondering if the same thing went through your mind as mine. When I see a big man like that make a catch, all I keep thinking to myself is, big man with football. <laughs> Look out, everyone. He may not jump okay. you a whole lot, right? He may not run past you because no, of his okay, size. You got that guy way in the 70 the range. Ledger boy, with him, the he gets his mitts on the ball, match, he's going to be tough to bring down. Down the house, run for the Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. The hookup on the right side to Hopkins. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Mahomes finding Hopkins for the AFC first. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to run two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Well, they obviously red man covers their partner, and he got downfield, broke down the defender, made him think. by that? Broke yeah, he made think he was going to run a different route. Probably thought he was going to take it upfield. Then he curls back it. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Taking it in from two yards out. And the AFC able to draw a bit closer. We got a little bit of everything on that run. Offensive line creating some space. But how about the guy running behind his pads into the end zone? What does that mean when a guy says running behind his pads? Oh, look at this. A flip to the kicker. He's going to try to run for it. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. The lead cut to just four as they kick it away and turn things over to their D. <laughs> this will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Breeze in the NFC come up now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though, huh? Yeah, you went you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, it kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. On the counter, Gurley. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. They'll stick to the ground game with Gurley. They pick up 10, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size... This intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. This is taken at about the 14. Turn there. Give him an even 20 yards. And the AFC will take over first and 10. Now the AFC going to take a timeout. It's their second as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. Yellow. 
back to throw. And he gets it to his KC running mate. That's Tyreek Hill. And now off to the races. Down the right side. And all the way in for the touchdown. Tyreek Hill in the final minute. And the AFC has retaken the lead. Wow. I know it's a never-say-never never situation. But to me, that looks like that's the one that's going to finish them off. The score that puts them in front here late. But now you got to rally your kick team, don't you, and say the last thing we need is a big return. And what happens is guys get overeager, get out of their lane because they're so excited they want to make the last tackle. <laughs> you mess up, could come back at you a long way. Myers connects on the PAT. And they're able to get the connection on the long touchdown pass. And that's one of the easiest drive summaries you'll ever see. One play, touchdown. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And with time a factor here late, he'll just take a knee and they'll put it out to the 25. He'll look to throw. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. They'll look to throw. And Jones has it over the middle. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. NFC South to NFC South. Breeze to Julio Jones for a first down. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. It's a lot of contact going on there, and in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. He's back to throw, and this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. Now the NFC going to call the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in the game. They face a third and four after that last completion gets them six. Back to throw. Open man is Michael Thomas. Now the NFC going to take a timeout. They're second as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in the game. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. And they go the wrong way here. Knocked back to the 20. And with just inside of 10 seconds to go, they'll burn their final timeout. Nine seconds left. And his kick is indeed good. And they will tie this game here in the final seconds. So a money kick there in the final seconds. And now, barring any hijinks on the kickoff here, partner, I think you and I, we're going to settle in for a little overtime. And I wouldn't have it any other way. This has been a dogfight all through regulation. No reason to think it won't continue in the extra period. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line.
So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. This will be fielded at the six. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30 to the 33-yard line. Breeze in the NFC come up now with a first and 10 at the 33-yard line. They'll start out on the ground with Gurley. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. Credit the tackle to the Texans middle linebacker, Bernardrick McKinney. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. First throw of overtime for Breeze. Burks has it left side. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. Decision time now on fourth and about a yard and a half. I can still hear my high school coach, John Ford, right now. I want my number one play with my number one runner over my number one blocker. Get me the first down. But some may very well say, punt this thing away, pin them down deep, and play field position. First throw of overtime for Mahomes. Oh, and it's intercepted. Eddie Jackson picks it, and they're going to be set up in the red zone right around the 17-yard line. So we will see yet another drive in this overtime. For whatever reason, neither team able to finish this game off. I know that the first thought is, does anyone really want to win it? But I think that they both desperately want to win it, and sometimes you force things, and that leads to errors. Well, it's out there for the taking. We'll see who can do it. split the uprights and they have regained the lead so he remains perfect three for three in the field goal department and it's so important for any offense to have an ace like him up their sleeve isn't it because now you know what his range is and as soon as your offense gets there you're pretty much counting on three points going up on the board so charles a victory for the nfc final thoughts on this pro bowl we had some fun didn't we absolutely Welcome to Madden NFL 20. Here you can try the all-new QB1 face of the franchise or enjoy classic Madden with Madden Ultimate Team franchise or a quick pickup game in exhibition. Ah, le jeu t'as pas fini de saler. Ok, le jeu t'as pas fini. Je vois quelque chose.
Ah, pis je l'ai perdu en... Comme d'habitude, là. Isaac. Sûrement vendredi ou en samedi. Vendredi, il y a une game de soccer. Ben, je... Demain, il y a une pratique, moi. Euh, vendredi, soccer, l'impact. Enfin, je vais sûrement jouer samedi, vendredi. Fait que c'est ça. Euh, on, va, on va terminer ça là-dessus. J'espère que vous avez aimé la diffusion. Vous pouvez me retrouver partout sur les internets. Je suis Actarus. Un like, un partage toujours très apprécié. N'oubliez pas de vous abonner à la chaîne Twitch ou la chaîne YouTube pour toujours être à jour sur mes vidéos. Sur ce, merci beaucoup d'avoir été là.